So, Adam, first of all, uh, what was the key reasoning behind your decision to join Srivana Zvezda? Yeah, well, uh, you know, it was basically an, an easy decision. Uh, you know, when I when I found out that uh, I will not be able to, you know, continue in, in Madrid, uh, I told my agents that uh, my dream and, and my goal is to keep continue to play in, in Euroleague. Uh, so we were searching for the club that, that obviously in Euroleague and for the long term, so not like in and out. And um, and obviously, I wanted to, you know, um, be a part of a, a project uh, that, you know, has, uh, is hungry to, to, you know, be successful. Um, and, you know, as soon as I get the call from, from Red Star, I think it was an easy decision. You know, uh, I saw that, uh, you know, it's a team that uh, did huge historical things, you know, before. Uh, but, you know, lately, in the last couple of years, you know, they didn't reach their goals or they didn't reach the playoffs uh, and they were not in the, in the level that they were supposed to be. So, you know, it was it was an easy decision and, and I was really happy to, you know, I, basically it was like less than 24 hours, you know, I talked to coach uh, and the next morning I already signed the contract. So it was an easy decision and I'm happy to be part of this such a historical club. How did that conversation look like with the coach? Easy. It was nothing about basketball, to be honest. Uh, you know, I, he called me late night. Uh, we talked for like a couple of minutes you know uh, both were we were in vacations uh, so it was you know just just you know um, him letting me know that you know he wants me to be part of the team uh, I told him that I want to be part of the team and basically that was it you know after that uh, you know he was talking about his family me too and that's why the next morning my agents were already calling me with all the details and everything so so it was pretty quick you know um, especially after you know I was let's say I was I wouldn't say like I was impatient but you know I was Basically, that was my first summer when I was like, let's say, a free agent. I was already had something, you know, before, and I was already know where I'm gonna go. So, and not from my point of view, you know, it's more from my from my family uh, because obviously I wanted to 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 be sure, you know, my family is good and, and everything is settled. So, you know, I wanted to uh, have as soon as possible, you know, the team uh, to be ready for me, and, and I wanted to, you know, that's why. For example, with my family, we came five times to, uh, to Belgrade this summer. You know, as soon as I signed the contract, we came five times to Belgrade. We visited the, all the schools. Uh, we were searching for apartments. So, you know, I wanted everything to be settled once we're here. So, so it was a busy summer, let's say. But uh, in the meantime, it was it was obviously very exciting. Still early days. We know what you bring basketball-wise, but how do you see your fit on this team? Yeah, well, yeah, you know. Throughout my career, I played in many different positions, many different roles. Uh, so you know, I think it will, it will be. Um, we'll see. You never know. I, I'm always trying to be the glue guy. So you know, whatever the team needs, I will try to you know find that spot. Uh, even if it's offense or defense, or you know, be a leader. Uh, I think you know, I have ex enough experience. You know, especially in the last couple of uh, seasons, you know, I played a lot of Final Fours. Uh, I played a lot of big games. Uh, uh, I'm just a recent uh, Euroleague champion. So obviously, you know, I think I can bring a lot to the table, uh, and we will see how how the team is going to fit together. We are still, I think, trying to figure it out. You know, we had some unfortunate injuries in the preseason, so we are not really know yet how we're going to look uh, as a whole team. Uh, but we have a very, very decent team. I think uh, uh, we can be really successful. Obviously, you know, everybody knows the Euroleague season is going to be up and downs. You know, so many games, so many traveling, and everything. So. So we have to stay together, uh, try to figure it out, you know, in between each other, how we're gonna, you know, fit, uh, fit uh, in the team, and, and hopefully we, we can have a successful season. You mentioned experience. How would you define experience? Well, how do you use it over the course of a season that you mentioned is very long and yeah. within within one game? Yeah, exactly that moment. I know that you know, um, we know that every game it matters, but we also know that you know. Whether you win or you lose, the next game is the most important game. So I think this is how, where I can use my my experience. You know, I know that you know the team has to be good and in a really good shape in a certain moment. Uh, we all know that, for example, now in the preseason we lost a couple games, you know, with one point, two points. But you know, it's all the process, and and it doesn't really matter if you win all these games and then in, in March or, or like the end of the season you lose all that games, that doesn't really matter. So so you always have to know, you know, um, where can you where you can improve as a team, as, as an individual. Um, and I try to, you know, use this confidence, obviously, you know, with all the big games, I know that, you know, I have to be ready mentally, obviously be a leader outside the court and in, in on the court. Um, and just like I said, I'm trying to find my way, you know, how I can fit in the team. In the preseason now, I played a lot as a point guard. 
Um, I think if you have all the players uh, available, it's not going to be the case. So I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, I'm in the in the process that uh, trying to you know see that really where I can fit the most, uh, where I can help the most in the team. But you know, throughout the season, I think it's going to change a lot. So how does it look like to be a leader of the court? What is that? Can you name an, an example? Yeah, I think just trying to be positive. You know, always positive, always trying to help your teammates, always trying to you know bring them up. Uh, if you can see, if you see somebody who's a little bit down, you know, give a hand, uh, give uh, you know, talk to them uh, with some good advice. Uh, and even you know, in bad moments uh, when you have to you know say some some critical things or you know. Uh, just you have to have the comfortable another teammate, you know, because he did some mistakes and he does need to realize. You have to tell them. So I think this is helps, you know, to to create a good chemistry in the team. Uh, so I think this is the most important things, you know, out of the court. And obviously, just you know, I've been in many teams and many different uh, um, uh, teammates. So I always try to be, you know, the guy that uh, really stay positive, you know, throughout the whole season. And and obviously me. I'm also a person. I also have up and ups and downs, but but I think I can control them now pretty good. In that regard that you just mentioned, who are your biggest influences? You played with some big, amazing names throughout your career. Yeah, um, obviously the the winning mentality in Real Madrid it was it was something really special. You know, uh, especially you know the last two seasons where I'm thinking something. Uh, Really amazing because uh, you know the, the way that we won games and the way that we turn things around. It's something that you know I learned a lot from. But um, to be honest, I would say more like a personal level. You know, my grandfather was the person that you know raised me the, the way who I am, and and he was the one who gave me all the values. You know, uh, and this is what I'm trying to bring on and off the court. So I would say that more like you know his influence was was um, more important in my career and becoming a you know, human being uh, than anything else in basketball. So, you know, basketball-wise, obviously, uh, we're all professionals. I play with some amazing professionals. I play with some not-so-professionals. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, we're all humans and, and we are trying to get along and, and trying to create some great memories. And, and I had some some fine share of these, these great memories. That's interesting what you mentioned about your grandfather. Can you elaborate on that a bit? How was your relationship? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he was the one who, who really raised me, you know. Um, uh, my father left me when I was two years old, so obviously I didn't have a father figure. And he was the one who who actually, you know, stepped into that role and, 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 and helped me uh, along the way, along my, my basketball career. You know, he was the one who was taking me for all the practices. And, and then I was, uh, you know, close to saying that I want to quit. He was the one who was keep pushing me. Um, on the way that is not really pushing me like, you know, hey, are you going to go to practice? Like on the way that, you know, really positive way and, you know, like you can do it and stuff like this. So, so yeah, and, and after that, um, you know, he followed me throughout my career. Obviously, the last year since I'm, I'm in Spain, you know, from 2010, uh, he was not able to come as many games as, as before. And I lost him three years ago. So, so obviously, that was like, a, you know, a really bad things for me uh, and my family. But, uh, you know, he lives in, in, in our memories. Uh, and I still remember, you know, I went to, to my grandmother's place the, this summer and he still has the VHS uh, cassettes. You know, he was watching all the, the games from back uh, at the day. So, yeah, he was really, really, really something, a special person uh, in my life. And I will always remember him. That's a really nice story. Thank you. And just lastly, uh, how do you look forward to playing in front of the fans that you've played many times before, but now they're, As an they're opponent. actually yeah. going to be rooting for you? Yeah, we're very, very excited. Uh, I already... I I saw a couple of days ago that you know they already sold 12,000 season tickets. So yeah, I think it's going to be a really exciting season. Uh, I can see that you know the hype around the team is, is pretty big. Um, I hope it's not going to crush the team, you know, because obviously the, the pressure is is greater. Like you know, every time when you have better players, the pressure is greater. But you know, we have to take it one, just like I said, one game at a time, one practice at a time, and just we just have to keep building on that. Um, obviously, the beginning of the season, like as I saw the. Um, the schedule and everything, you know, it's really important for us. In the first couple of games, you know, we have to get a head start, let's say, from uh, from our opponents. But just like I said, I think we have to go step by step. Uh, hopefully, with you know the help with our fans, uh, we can reach some great goals uh, this season. I think uh, I always say that you know you have to go and look for the next goal. I'm not saying you know win the Euroleague. You always have to, you know, go game by game, and then you have to reach, you know, find a, uh, reach the playoffs, and then from playoffs you have to go for the next goal. So, so now I would, me personally, I think for the team we should have set the goal, you know, get to the get to the Euro, uh, Euroleague playoffs, and then from now then on we'll see how how long we can go. But 
but yeah, game by game uh, with our fans, and I'm super, super excited. You know, uh, just like you said, I always played uh, as an opponent in front of such a, an amazing fans, and and now as a as a local player, uh, I think it's going to be something very, very special. Thank you, Adam, very much. Thank you. Thank you.